Welcome to the IMS Ibiza 2016 here at the Hard Rock Hotel. I'm Pete Tong, one of the founders of the event, and we started the IMS here on the White Island exactly nine years ago. The IMS brings in renowned artists, leading industry figures for inspiring debates, one-on-one -on -one discussions, and special announcements. There are some magic moments, and it only happens here at the IMS in Ibiza. To kick off day one, Kevin Watson produced the IMS 2016 industry report. So we believe the industry is now worth $7.1 billion. Dance is actually the fifth most popular genre in terms of streaming in the US. In the UK, streaming of dance music tracks growth was higher than any other genre. A very honest keynote with Eric Murillo, who revealed his emotional story behind the drug addiction and recovery. All these young DJs that I was bringing in, all of a sudden were blowing up and eclipsing me and all of a sudden dance music popped in America and all these DJs just got bigger than me and my ego couldn't take it. It was hard for my ego to say, you're not top dog anymore. So I started, you know, dabbling on a daily basis. And that's kind of when things started to, you know, kind of unravel. It was ketamine. It was a mental addiction and I had to deal with the problem. Once I did deal with the problem, my therapist helped me see about the ego and the, you gotta let it go. The formula was, Stay true to yourself. Stay true to the music that you love. We also saw a massive gathering of artists, including Richie Horton, Nicole Mudabar, Taylor Vass, James Abila, Dove Fire, and Black Coffee discuss the art of playing differently. It's not about the technology, it's about us as humans have making our own decision about how to use that and what we're able or what we want to do with that new opportunity. You have to find a way of connecting, as Rich said, to that technology and humanizing it somehow, marrying it with, with your own personality and pushing it out in a new way. It's about um, being individual. I haven't put a record out since 2012. I'm still getting booked off the back of, of my DJ sets, which I try and make special, I guess, or try to. Feeling one is definitely the key. Feeling one with your instrument and feeling one with the crowd. We're all sitting on this panel because we are the messengers. You know, we're here to give people music. The New Breed panel, presented by Mixmag, featured Danny Days, Francesca Lombardo, Kolsch and Danny Howard. It's very easy to lose yourself in, in this, where you basically start doing this for money. We're trying to, to carve ourselves down the middle where we can make money and do this uh, out of love as well. When you suddenly decide this is your place, this is what you want to contribute to the scene, this is your art and your craft, then success finds you. And I think credibility is all about you working hard. Be humble and be focused on what you do and just don't go and change yourself just because you want to get somewhere. Year nine of the great annual Ibiza debate with myself, Mr. C, uh, Shauna Slevin, manager of the Martinez Brothers, Mateo from Tale of Us, and Jacoby Cawthorpe. Ibiza is the most challenging territory for us. It's easier for us to sell out the shows rather than Ibiza. We live in a world where our senses are bombarded with stimulants from all, all aspects, and therefore people are constantly looking for something new, and the DJs and the, and the people who come to these parties really enjoy that intimacy. It really is a home to the guys, it's a family. Techno Parade is a tool to protest and to say we exist, we're going to make noise, we're not going to stop making noise. France has very restrictive laws and regulations to produce events. We don't need more uh, with what happened in November. Of course we're a little bit tighter on everything. We do some, uh, some meetings with the police before the events, except if you put some army guys in front of the event which would be harmed, then, I mean, you can't really prevent things. The iconic yellow was the first of two rare keynote appearances on the last day of the IMS. This is a live recording with a pocket studio. Everybody, Each brush stroke is influencing the next. It really goes back to the creative the beginning of Boris, but using this technology, but with the approach of a child. People who use the technology, they think they are uh, playing the instruments, but indeed they are being played by the instruments. We intend to do this film over a year to discover how all these extraordinary cultures have been drawn to this island and how they've managed to leave a legacy that feeds into the present. It is something more profound about the spirit of the place. 
We had the Diversity and Electronic Music panel presented by She Said, with a powerful all-female panel made up of b traits Nicole Mudavar, Maria May, Lucy Blair, and Josie Waldring. Not a lot of men can do what I do. Maybe not a lot of women can do what I do. So it's down to the person. I mean, we're living in 2016 now. It should be different by now, for sure. But you know, at the end of the day, if you're passionate about this, then it, you can go out there and grab it, whether you're a girl or a boy. If we have a diverse workplace, we have a diverse roster, we make more money because the world is a diverse place. And there was an emotional conversation between Carl Cox, his manager Lynn Cosgrove, and the founder of Space Ibiza, Pepe Rosello, as they talk about the legacy of the club and what it means to be operating here in the closing year. The music make us all one. The music make us equal. It's the only thing who put us together without any restriction and bring unity all around the world. 27 years will remain in our memory forever. This 27 is a symbol. Big artists who die at 27. Jimi Hendrix, Jim Morrison, Amy Winehouse. They die, but the music will remain forever. And finally, the legendary Pet Shop Boys closed IMS with an insightful look on their history and influence on the genre of electronic music. The Berghain in the queue at 12 o'clock on a Sunday lunchtime, there's of course people arriving, uh, all fresh. You go in, there's people who've been there for 24 hours or something, and um, it's a very interesting combination of energies. And you have to exercise the muscle of creativity to keep the muscle strong. We've spent many years trying to get Carl Craig to do a mix for us for the same reason. In fact, he's doing one as we speak. The Bee Gees once asked us to do a remix and they're one of my favourite groups of all time and um, was just far too intimidated to do it. And you're always chasing the idea, for me, of a sort of perfect record that's exactly the right balance of euphoria and intelligence and sort of crazy instinct. Thank you so much to all our delegates, speakers and sponsors for being part of the ninth edition of the IMS Ibiza and join us for the first IMS College running in Malta uh, from July the 1st to the 3rd and for the newly expanded two-day IMS Asia Pacific in Shanghai on September the 29th and 30th. Tube channel and I hope I'll be seeing you next year.